So Let Go is um, a song I wrote the music to with uh, a great uh, producer, musician named Morgan Page. And Morgan is in the, he's a DJ as well, a very successful DJ. And I became a fan of Morgan's uh, like 10 years ago. He did a track called Longest Road to Nowhere. Um, and the vocal on that, I believe, was uh, a singer named Angela McCluskey. And it was in this sort of dance, electronic world. It was such a great melody and such great production. And then I listened to some other stuff he did. Um, he did a song called Believe that I really loved. Um, he did a song with uh, an artist named Greg Laswell called Addicted that I really loved. And so I just, I remember, and this has happened to me many, many, many times in my life. I just sort of mentally put it out there in the ether that I really like somebody's work and I end up meeting them or intersecting with them somehow. It wasn't a year later, maybe a year and a half. Uh, this guy that I know said, yeah, I was with uh, this guy named Morgan Page the other day. I'm like, of course you were. <laughs> you know, whereas I would have said, you're kidding. It's like, oh, okay, I kind of knew this was coming. He said, he's a fan of yours. And I said, please give him my number. And so we talked and we got together and we wrote this track. And I said, let me go take it and work on it lyrically and come up with what it is. And I ended up talking, playing the track for Daisy, my wife. This is when we were still dating. Um, and she was the one that introduced me to this concept of detachment in terms of a love affair and not and being able to love someone with no regard for them loving you back or an outcome of your love for them it's the purest it's the only truly pure love which is if you love someone and you don't care about anything but that and it's it's a very difficult concept to understand if you're an emotional person. But she, it took her a while and she was trying to get, uh, on, get me on board with it. And I was very resistant. And then finally a light bulb went off and I got it. And, and she said, well, it would be really cool if you could write a song like that. And I said, yeah, and I said, like this, this, and this. She said, well, yeah, and you could say this, you could say, and the next thing I knew, we were both writing the lyrics together. So um, it's kind of, we, we wrote another song together on the last album when we were dating called the title track, Beautiful Goodbye, and it happened the same way. She was just, she wasn't trying to co-write a song. She was just offering some suggestions, and I was drawing more out of her. I was saying, like, what else would you say? And she would just sort of say very stream of conscious things and then I would as the songwriter I would put it into a lyric form um, so obviously it's really cool for me to have another song that I love this much that Daisy's a co-writer on